I'm drooling right now. <laughs> Happening. Intros are close to impossible right now. I think I've recorded the same thing about 50,000 times. All right, so today we have a first impressions video trying out the Emily Edit palette and some new stuff from Wet n Wild, Makeup Revolution, and some other stuff. So I'm not in the intro mood, so we're just gonna cut to the video. But if you enjoy this video while you're watching, you can give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, you can join the Bayrito family. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Um, wish extensions for you. I'm testing out different wish hair extensions for a video, and this thing is literally like nonstop shedding. All right, so this thing I had out to use in this video, but I actually was too tempted and used it this morning before an appointment. I was just doing like super natural makeup, so I wanted to try this out, but it's the Becca Skin Love Glow Elixir, and this I would not recommend if you plan on wearing it like during the day. There is actual glitter in here. When your face is in the sun, it just looks like a giant puddle of glitter. So that I will not be putting on again. So instead I'm gonna try out the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer Hydrating Version. I used to wear just like the original Laura Mercier Foundation Primer and really liked it, but have never tried the hydrating one. This is a big ass bottle, whoa. Doesn't really have a scent to it. Ooh, this feels very soft. Feels kind of more like a thicker serum almost. It doesn't feel super lotion-y, but this is feeling very hydrating actually. That's feeling nice. Definitely feels like it hydrated my skin pretty well, and it's giving me a little bit of a glow. How many times do you think I've said glow since I've been off Accutane? <laughs> so I am very curious to try these. These are the MAC Hyper Real Foundation. I'm assuming they're supposed to be mixers. It, that's all it's called, but these are basically I mean, they look like glowy foundation mixers to me. This one is actually in the shade Violet Effects, and then this one is Gold Effects. And both of them, I was surprised to find, are actually like white. And they just have different undertones. This one in the light, I don't know if it'll be showing up, the violet one, but like to me, I can see a little bit of violet in there, so I'm not gonna use that one. I'm gonna try the gold one and use this as a mixer to see if this gives my foundation a glow at all and if it lightens it at all. So I'm gonna try that out with my Too Faced Peach Perfect foundation. Ever since the Foundation Friday for the new Too Faced Do You foundation, I used to love this on my oily skin. Since I have dry skin now, I wanna try it out with something glowy like this. So I'm just gonna pour out. Ooh, it's pretty thick. It looks like it lightened it a little bit, maybe. I'm just gonna blend it out with my Sigma Fady. It feels pretty thick. Like it definitely feels kind of like a gel Consistency, it does feel like it changed the consistency of the foundation a little bit. So when you guys are seeing this, either this week or next week, I'll be in Memphis. I'm going the week of the 18th, and I'm super excited because I'm going for a thing with St. Jude's Children's Hospital, which I'm so excited for. It sounds like it's gonna be awesome. So I'll be definitely showing that on Snapchat and stuff, Instagram, you can follow me on social if you wanna follow along with that. I am gonna try and vlog, but the boy is actually coming. So let me bring a plus one. So I'm probably not gonna be vlogging a whole lot, but I think uh, I'll actually be filming a video with him while I'm there, so with St. Jude's. But if any of you guys live in Memphis, I would love to meet you guys. Say hi if you see me, and I'll try and tweet where I'm at, because one of the days we'll have a totally free day. But Mallory and Keegan, who Mallory's like my best YouTube friend, Mallory1712, her and Keegan, will be there, so I'm super excited. I haven't seen Mallory in way too long. We keep like trying to go on trips together. So I cleaned my entire, this is like kind of turning into a shadow and schmooze, I guess. This scares me. Trying new concealers and powders is always like, whoo, it's really hit or miss. But I'm gonna try out this Revolution Pro Full Coverage Camouflage Concealer. I'm gonna try C1 first and see how the shade is. But I cleaned up this whole filming room yesterday and it was like, bad. It was disaster zone in here. You could like barely see the floor. I still freaking haven't got it down like exactly how I want. I want to add something to the background, but those are closet doors. That's my issue. So I need like something stick on or something that could be somehow hung on closet doors since they do open. Wow, this is thick. Definitely has coverage though. Or I've been thinking about totally moving around. I mean, you guys can't really see, but maybe I'll show in a vlog or something because I do want to keep vlogging, but I might totally just move around like the desk thing, put it against a different wall, and then make like a second filming setup against a white wall, but actually like hang things on the wall and make a cute background, not just have it like plain white. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, just so I can switch it up and have the black background sometimes and then have the other background sometimes. 
that is definitely full coverage. It feels like one of those concealers that is probably going to massively crease on me just because it is very thick and creamy. Kind of reminds me of the It Cosmetics concealer, which a lot of people like. It just doesn't work out for me because of the thickness. Oh yeah, it's already starting to like crease and look a little funky right there. They discontinued this freaking brush. I don't know why every Morphe product I fall in love with. My red sponge got discontinued, this brush. I feel like I like all the Morphe products that apparently don't sell well because they keep getting discontinued. Okay, this could be a total disaster. What's new with loose powders and my under eyes, but this is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And I've actually never tried this somehow. I have tried the Laura Mercier, the normal translucent powder that most people use, but this is different. This is specifically for under eyes and it's supposed to be brightening. I feel like I have to say this every time for the new people on here, but my under eyes are very finicky, like with concealer and powder, but especially powder and especially a loose powder. So it's super rare if I can find a loose powder for my under eyes that doesn't take away the coverage and just look overall like total shit. So we'll see how this one goes. I just put some into the cap here. I'm gonna try pressing this on with my AOA wake, bake, cake, whatever it's called, sponge. Whoa, this looks very fine. Okay, wish me luck, folks. Uh-oh, I'm gonna work that down. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh man, it just never looks good, loose powder. Basically always takes my concealer down like five notches in coverage and it usually darkens it too. This one isn't doing too bad as far as darkening. I mean, I would hope not. It's supposed to be like a brightening powder. I don't think it's looking as bad on camera right now. In real life, it looks like I have pretty dark under eyes right there and you can see all of my freckles and stuff coming through there. So I'm gonna try and just go in with the brush now. Man, some people, like when I watch certain people's videos and they're using loose powder under the eyes it just looks like so flawless and I'm like what the heck man like what is wrong with my skin but a lot of you guys have told me that you experienced that too and with face powders so I'm not alone so let's try this I don't know if it's supposed to be like an all over finishing powder but this is another MAC powder it's in the shade silver dusk but it doesn't look silvery at all hoping that this is not glittery I'm gonna test this on my hand oh definitely glittery so this definitely looks like a highlight so I don't think this is something I'd want to use all over my face even with a big like loose brush just because of the glitter in there that's not really my cup of tea so instead I'm gonna go in with this Koki powder contour palette it says there's highlight shades in here too I don't know if they're like matte highlight shades you know like banana powder kind of thing or if it's like an actual highlighter so let's find out maybe I'll try this one just as like over my cheek area why not at this point, you know? I've been loving this BH Cosmetics brush just for like pretty much everything. It's great for bronzer. It's also good for finishing powder. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here in the palette. It's like the least yellow. Just press that into my cheek area. Oh, my skin does not look good right now. Like this whole combo. All right, I need a powder that's gonna save the day. So let me let me go grab that. I'm gonna try mixing my JCAT Aqua Assurance Powder Foundation with the Laura Geller powder. This will hopefully add some radiance. This will hopefully add some coverage. This one is way too dark on its own. So I'm just gonna do a tap of this and do mostly Laura Geller. So base attempt number 500 right now. Okay, there we go. It's adding a little bit of coverage. I'm gonna just do this everywhere because I'm not liking how my base looks. God, I love this brush. I think you have to get this in a set. I don't know why they do that. I wish you could buy BH Cosmetics brushes all separately, but this pink marble one, I'm pretty sure came in a set. This is number one. I mean, the sets are still super cheap, so. Hmm, debating if I wanna do it right there. I'm gonna do it. Helped out the rest of my face, why not? So I am for sure gonna go over my skin right now with the Catrice setting spray. This one is not a first impression. I freaking love this thing. It was in my Raves and Rejects. Use this pretty much every day and it just like transforms my skin. So here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. I can't get over the setting spray. So now that I have 500 million face products on my face, these three definitely saved the day. I'm gonna try out a new brow product. This one's by Cargo. It's their Swimmables Longwear Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Dark. You get a spoolie on one end. Cool, let's use it. Here's the pencil. Ooh, it's angled. 
Okay, this looks like the Hourglass pencil, which I've actually been using a lot lately. Some of you guys have been commenting on my lighter brows and like more rounded shape. When I've been doing that, I've been using the Hourglass pencil. I'll link the exact one down below, but it looks like this. So I have Memphis and I go straight from Memphis to my good friend's wedding. And that's back in Washington. And then like a week later, no, two weeks later, week and a half later, I am actually going to Portugal for two weeks. So I'm super excited for that. I'm just doing like a solo trip to Portugal. I think I talked about in a shadow and schmooze, I was originally gonna do Spain and Portugal, but I decided to just do Portugal because I wanna do Spain when I can do Morocco too, because you can just take a boat to Morocco. So if you have any Portugal recommendations, definitely let me know down below. I'm going to like six different cities there. Now I'm gonna go back with the contour palette and this shade looks really nice. So I'm gonna try out this guy right here. So just my Wet n Wild contour brush. So I'm starting to pre-film videos for that too. And I think I actually wanna do like a get ready with me while I'm there too. Or maybe like showing you guys what makeup I bring or something. So let me know if you'd wanna see that. I'm doing like half Airbnb, half hostel and hotel. So I could film it while I was in an Airbnb or hotel. If you guys are going on any trips, I'll leave my Airbnb link down below, but I'm pretty sure you get $40 off your first Airbnb. Okay, that one's looking a little patchy and intense. So I'm gonna take my Sigma, I've been loving this brush. This is the F50 Duo Fiber. I'm just gonna, whoops, with the thing stuck to it. Uh, I'm just gonna blend that out. Just to tone it down a little, I'm actually gonna go in with that powder shade I used. Just blend that right over top. It looks a little bit orangey on my skin tone, I think. I definitely want to bronze my forehead a little bit. This brush, that one I use for powder, so nice for that too. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the one that's a little bit warmer now, that one, the middle shade, and just super lightly pat that in. Bronze up my temples a little bit. Just looking for my paint pot and it was sitting on my table right in front of me. I'm gonna prime my eyes. For blush, I'm gonna use the Koki Blush Up. The name Blush Up just makes me think of Level Up. Got a new ring. Got this middle one off of Etsy. I'm just into gold right now. That looks like a very light shade. I'm gonna start out with this one, see what it looks like. Ooh, that looks pretty. That's like a very natural flush of color right there. Oh, I like that. Super natural. I have two potential highlighters here that I wanna try. I'm leaning towards trying this Pixie one, but this is the Glowy Gossamer Duo. This is in the shade 002. And then this Wet n Wild highlight. What is this? Where is your name? Oh, right on the front. This is the Highlighting Bar in the shade Air. And I think this is part of their like Zodiac collection thing. I mentioned in, I think a Shadow and Schmooze or something, what I was talking about horoscopes or whatever. And I did look up my hair sign, or sign, moon sign. <laughs> looked up my moon sign. I will tell you guys, for those of you who were trying to guess. This is what I wrote down when I took the birth chart thing. Gemini, but completely aligned with Virgo. Virgo is a mix of Gemini and Scorpio, which is my moon sign on the chart. So my moon sign is Scorpio, but I identify with Virgo <laughs> for anyone who remotely cares. I feel like people just judge you hardcore when you say you're a Gemini. Ooh, that looks pretty. Ooh, okay, gotta try that. I'm too excited about this one. Let's go in with this guy. Oh, wow, that's intense. Ooh, that is pretty. It looks a lot more like champagne gold on the face than it does in the pan. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more pink. Definitely would use that highlight again. I'm very excited to use this guy. This I purchased from Ulta. It's the Emily Edit The Wants palette. I'm super excited for Emily. I feel like this is a YouTube collaboration that is well-deserved. Emily has been on YouTube for a long time. I remember before I started my channel, seeing her videos pop up and I'm just very happy to see good things happening to people in the community who deserve it. So I'm gonna try out this palette. I actually have used this one time before. I was just playing with it off camera. I'm gonna try this out again, but it's actually a pretty large palette. It looks a lot smaller online and you get a giant mirror right here. I'm kind of feeling like the green shades. I think I wanna do a green look. So I'm gonna start out with this shade Midwest. Also super cool that this palette is in Ulta. Like that's awesome. You go girl. Guess this one is like a dark teal corduroy right there. I might need to keep her palette permanently on my table as a reflector. It's doing a good job. Look, that's before. Look at the side of my face. That's after. Wow. Okay, wait, let me plan out. What am I doing here? I don't really know. Let's go in with corduroy. That one's pretty powdery. So you do have to tap off your brush. I'm gonna keep this on like the outer third of my eye right there. Okay, now I'm gonna take side hustle. Or do I want grateful? 
First I'm gonna take Side Hustle. It's the darker shimmery green shade. And I'm gonna use my fingers with that and put that on the middle of my lid. So you do kinda have to build this one up a bit. I'm gonna try it with a brush. Maybe you just need to use a brush with it. I'm gonna spray it with some Fix Plus on my brush and then pack that over top. Okay, there we go. Ooh, look at that with some Fix Plus on it. I would say these are very wearable shimmers. Like they're not gonna be like super blinding metallic, but I wouldn't feel like they're too much, you know, just for like an everyday kind of shimmer. Not that I would do like an emerald eye for like an everyday look, but you know what I'm saying? That's kind of the experience I had with the other shimmer shades I tried off camera. Just going back over it. I love that emerald green shade right there, that matte shade. All right, now on that same brush, this is the Sigma E58. I'm gonna take Grateful, which is a lighter green. I'm gonna do the same thing, spray it with Fix Plus, and then put that right in here. Those three shades complement each other really well. Like I feel like, ooh, I like that gradient right there. All right, so now I'm gonna blend out the edges a bit. Just to get like a right in there, I'm gonna go in with Dews Paid. I'm just applying that right above the green to kind of like semi cut the crease a little bit right there and kind of applying more pressure to blend that upwards a little bit. Where am I going with this lower lash line here? I think I'm actually gonna take Grateful, which was the shimmery green, but it's the lighter green. I'll just blend that under here since it's a little bit lighter. Ooh, that looks pretty on the lower lash line. I think I'm gonna use that same Wet n' Wild face highlighter for my inner corner. Oh man, that Wet n' Wild highlight, look at that. I'm thinking I wanna keep the lower lash line just with that light green. I'm gonna add a little bit of the darker emerald shade. Just right there. And I'm not gonna blend it out, I'm just gonna leave it like almost like a little green liner right there. So I think for eyeliner, I'm also gonna try out a collab. This is actually an older one, this is the Pixie Wiley. I'm having a brain fart moment where I can't remember if it's Whaley or Wiley. I think it's Whaley. But this is a black liner duo by Pixie. One end you have a pencil liner right here, and then the other end you have a felt tip. So I'm gonna try out this felt tip. Ooh, that's very black. I don't think I'm gonna wing it. I'm gonna put on some false lashes and I don't really wanna do a wing with this look. That went over the shimmer as well though, and that's super black. This dress is like falling apart. Forever 21, haven't even worn it yet. All right, so this is one of those like older products that I've just never tried and I got it as a, whatever this is, deluxe sample, I guess, from Sephora. And this is the Clinique Chubby Lash Fattening Mascara. I'm gonna put false lashes on, but I just wanna see how this mascara does. So first I'm gonna pop some of this on. Wow, this is a long wand. This thing looks intense, I'm kind of intimidated. Oh, I almost just dropped that on my face. That could have been a disaster. It's giving me good like length on my outer lashes, that's for sure. Look at that, yeah, getting really good length. So I would try layering this one. Okay, I still wanna add some false lashes, but I like what that chubby lash did for my outer lashes a lot. So now I'm gonna get some lashes. So for lashes, I'm gonna use one of my favorites. These are the Ilore Accents 005. These are just like corner lashes. Okay, so I put on my false lashes and I also put on some lower lash line mascara and then just covered the band with the same pixie eyeliner. And I really like how black this is. I'm not a huge fan of felt tip. I usually like brush tip, but I feel like it's really nice just how intense and super black this is. So I like how the eyes turned out overall. And I think for lips, I wanna do something more like pinky nude a little bit. I'm gonna try this out. I have no idea how this is gonna go. This has been in my like to try bin for forever. This is the Sephora Lip Powder. This is actually a powder lip product. And this is in the shade 02, it's natural. Oh, it looks like metallic on there. So how the heck does the powder come out of here? I guess it just like reloads as you press it. I'm not gonna use the liner. I might use a liner over it, but first let's just try this powder thing. Oh, whoa. It smells like weird vanilla. It smells like a graham cracker or something. It's weird, you can't feel anything coming out. I don't know how you're supposed to get more powder out of here. I definitely 
I'm going to need to use something else. It doesn't feel like a whole lot is coming out and it's already like rubbed off on there. So I'm going to try and like shake this down. Yeah, I feel like now nothing is really coming out. Where are you? I think I'm actually just gonna use Stila Caramello Liquid Lipstick. I haven't used this one in a while. It might be darker than I want, so I'm gonna use this first and then I'll probably lighten it up with something. I'm like drooling right now, <laughs> what's happening? I was just kind of putting back in my Cupid's Bow highlight right there, but I think I'm actually gonna take that Wet n Wild highlight and just press that on. I'm just using the powder and pressing it over that liquid lipstick. My top lip got effed up. I'm gonna need to like clean this up with concealer or something. Definitely just got liquid lipstick on my chin. All right, I just had a liquid lipstick catastrophe. Some like overlining happening and then things just got too crazy and then I tried to clean it up with concealer and now it just looks kind of shitty. And then liquid lipstick flung onto my chin. So it's been a wild five minutes over here. All right, so this is the finished look. I think standout products, definitely the Wet n Wild highlighter. I'm super into this face highlight right now. I really like the Koki blush too, just that really natural shade. Uh, I would pass on all of the face products I tried. Besides the MAC thing, I think I would try mixing that in with other foundations, but just like the combo that I had going on wasn't a fan. Without those powders and setting spray, I think it just would look tragic. The concealer is not for me or the under eye setting powder. These look really not great on my under eyes. Definitely would pass on this. I feel like it just doesn't come out. And at that point, why wouldn't you just use an eyeshadow? You know what I'm saying? If you want to use something powder on your lips. I'm excited to play around with Emily's palette again. I really like how this eye look turned out. I'm happy with it. Congrats again to you, Emily, if you're watching this. The contour palette, I think this one can pull a little bit orangey on my skin tone, but I think it's totally doable with blending powder over top. And I do like how it looks right now, just like my blush, bronzer, and highlight all together. The brow pencil I like, I would try that cargo brow pencil pencil again. I think the shade is pretty nice and pretty similar to the Hourglass. It has a little bit more grip to it than the Hourglass does. And then this I would definitely try again. I think I would really like this going over my liner once I have like the shape down because felt tips and I just don't get along. Like it's really hard for me to get a good clean smooth line with a felt tip, but I love how black this liner is. And I think it's a good one for just like covering lash bands and stuff as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. I link everything I tried on my face down below in the description box. I have a bunch of other first impressions videos that I put in a playlist all together. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. I have a friggin' nose itch. Oh, the art. Scratching your nose with foundation on. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.